We worked on a few fancy moves under the stick, between the legs, backhand, toe drag, but I can't do this series without mentioning one of the most successful moves that you'll ever do, and that's simply driving wide and protecting the puck. This is a timeless move. It's gonna work at any level as long as you do it well. What we're doing is pretty much just keeping the puck away from the danger zone. The danger zone is anywhere the defenseman can reach with their stick. As long as you keep the puck away from there, well, the defenseman can never take the puck off you because you're out of the danger zone. So that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna approach the defender, we're gonna bait him by having the puck in front of our body first. He doesn't know if we're gonna go left or if we're gonna go right because of where we're carrying the puck. And what we're gonna do is just move wide to the left, to your backhand, protect the puck, and then come back, move wide to the other side and protect the puck. So we'll start here, move wide, drop that hand to block it, go around. Same thing here. We're just moving wide, dropping that leg, and then coming around. The key to driving wide is protecting the puck. And you're gonna protect the puck by sealing the defenseman off from the puck. So when you're going to the backhand, what I like to do is go one hand on the puck, nice and low. You can put that leg out in front and drive, right? And you can put that hand down as well and protect the puck. Same thing, we're going to the forehand. You can drop that hip, you can drop that leg, you can drive around like that, and you can use this leg to drive through if you need to, if the defense is putting pressure on you. Obviously when we're off the ice, we don't have the skates on, but it's still good habits to get into that nice low position, to get that form, to have that in your mind if you're trying to create a seal between the defenseman and the puck. There's a few moves to get you started using the Extreme Defender. Remember, those are just the basics, so that's the first one you can start on. Once you get pretty effective doing all those moves, then you can challenge yourself by adding in more moves or more fakes, doing combinations. For example, when we did the under the stick fake, it was just moving to the right, going from the forehand to the backhand. So if you wanna bring that up a notch, you can add a secondary fake. So start a little bit earlier. You're gonna fake this way first then fake this way, and then pull that move off. So it's just adding a little bit more deception through those head fakes, those shoulder fakes, or body fakes. So start easy, once you're effective, challenge yourself, and as you continue to challenge yourself, you'll get better and better.